Meet Jane. Jane has Down syndrome and takes drum lessons with Lacey here at Lone Star School of Music. Quality educational programs, a stimulating home environment, good health care, and positive support from family, friends, and the community enable people with Down syndrome to develop their full potential and lead fulfilling lives. Music can open new pathways and act as a key contributor in this process. We sat down with Jim, Jane's father, for an interview. You know, sky's the limit. I mean, so so in in the 80s, there was this book, Go to Leschel Bach, and it was this idea that mathematics and drawing and and uh, and music are all sort of interrelated. And I, I you know, music is a language. I mean, it's got it's even got an alphabet if you want to you know go down there. So for her to understand, she was able to read at a young age, uh, and we didn't know it. She was actually she's learned how to sign, and we were in a restaurant. They had a little table tent that had the word was backpack. And we'd, we were going through the letters because she was really small. We said, Jane, what's this letter? And we're pointing at B, and she starts going like this. And we're like, no, no, that's not right. Wait, oh, we were asking her for the letter B, and she'd already read and decoded the word and said it's backpack. So I think music for her, music for anyone, is an opportunity to learn another language, uh, to activate different parts of your brain. Um, and it's, in, in some respects, does it help with math? I don't know, but could it? Yeah, and so I'm, I'm cool with that. I mean, really all that. So, um, okay, so, so for instance, first thing in the morning, they all come to school and they all have to do their little, I don't know what you call it, like roll call or something. It's, it's you, you sit in the cafeteria in her case, or in, you know, now it's in the gym, and the class kind of sits in a line and they're all supposed to read a little book or something. Well, inevitably, she's got an iPhone because she's, you know, pinched it off of one of us. And so she's listening to some music. So what, I mean, what a great outlet is something like music where everybody kind of, oh, is that Nicki Minaj? And they're, and they're all going to kind of crowd around. So it's social, yeah, but it's also, um, it's, it's community building. I mean, it's, you know, going back to, I mean, going back to when families instead of TV used to play instruments around the, around the, or after dinner. Um, it's very much a social thing for her, I think. And it can be. It can be for anybody. So I think she's going to benefit from all that. I think she's really going to continue to like to learn music and learn more about music. And I think she's going to get a lot of richness out of that. So I mean, they talk about methods of learning. So you get those, those uh, kinesthetic learners. I don't fully understand that. But what I think it means is that you're messing with something, but you're getting some kind of uh, tactile sensation back that's helping you to focus on what it is you're doing. Or you're going to learn, maybe it means hands-on. So that means the, the way you're going to do it is you're going to have to mess with it. Uh, I think back to you know watching the drum lines in college. What it wasn't the snares; it was the big kettle drums, and they were whacking those things. But you're getting a whole lot of feedback from that. And she's you know she likes that kind of gross motor uh, component. And I think it's also particularly with the smaller drums and cymbals and that kind of thing. She's she's going to get a lot of more fine fine motor work as well. And fine motor is going to be something that's going to be difficult for her to do through her life. So anything that helps to activate that for her is going to be great.